They are at the post. And they're off in the Coolmore Jenny Wiley. Cambodia away quickly toward the inside. Here's La Coronel from the center of the course. Dona Bruja is there in between those two. Lovely Bernadette and Kittens Roar. There goes Dona Bruja for the lead. Cambodia goes second. La Coronel third up on the outside. Lovely Bernadette one lane off the rail in the fourth position. Kittens Roar to her outside in fifth. And then off limits saving ground in sixth. Sister Charlie seventh between horses. Proctor's Ledge is eighth toward the far outside. Ultra Brat is in the ninth position. And then Bletchley, who's in 10th, and four-star crook, 11th and last, 23 and two-fifth seconds for the opening quarter. Dona Bruja leads it by a length up the back stretch. La Coronel second, just off the leader's flank now. Cambodia third down toward the inside, third by a neck. And then lovely Bernadette fourth toward the outside. Another length and a half to Kittens Roar, fifth ahead. Off limit six toward her inside. Sister Charlie is seventh between horses. And then Proctor's Ledge, Bletchley. Four star crook comes next as they enter the far turn and Ultra Brat trails. It was 47 and three fifth seconds for the first half mile. Dona Bruja, the leader, three parts of a length. Here's La Coronel to take a run at her midway on the far turn from second. Cambodia, third down toward the inside, two lengths off the lead. Lovely Bernadette, fourth up on the outside. And then Proctor's Ledge and Kittens Roar swing wide. Off limits and Sister Charlie look toward the inside, six lengths from the front. Dona Bruja short lead. La Coronel is alongside. Sister Charlie comes up the inside third. Cambodia in fourth. Four-star Crook is running late and fast toward the rail, but is still three lengths off the lead. Sister Charlie comes forward past La Coronel. And it is Sister Charlie trying to fend off the late run of four-star Crook, and she does it. Sister Charlie wins the Coolmore Jenny Wiley for John Velasquez, giving him his 50th Keeneland Stakes Triumph. The official winner of Keeneland's featured 10th race, the 30th running of the Grade 1 Coolmore Jenny Wiley, 7, Sister Charlie. Owned by Peter M. Brandt, trained by Chad Brown, John Velasquez, the winning jockey. Sister Charlie, a four-year-old filly by My Boy Charlie, out of Starlet's sister by Galileo, bred in Ireland by Ecure de Monceau. Covers the mile and a 16th over the firm turf in 1 minute, 41 and 2 fifths seconds. On behalf of Coolmore, Jerome Casey from Coolmore, Ireland presents the trophy to the connections of number seven, Sister Charlie, the winner of the grade one Coolmore, Jenny Wiley. With the winning connections of Sister Charlie, winner of the grade one Coolmore, Jenny Wiley. And John, talk a little bit about the trip. It looks like uh, she pretty much had it her way. Uh, we work, actually, we, we get out of the grade the way we wanted to today. Um, got a good position going to the first turn. I, I got the position that I wanted to, uh, where, where I wanted to be, and she sat really well. And by the 3 8 pole, I know I was in a good position. By the 5 16 pole to the quarter pole, I was just looking away wh where I was going to shoot through and uh, got through the rail. Uh, much the best horse. <laughs> Your 50th career stakes win right here at Keeneland. It comes in a grade one. How's that experience for you? Well, I'm very blessed uh, to ride for a lot of good, good trainers and a lot of good horses and having opportunities like riding for Chad and everybody else who's given me the opportunity for so many years. So I'm being pretty blessed. Well, congratulations on your 50th win. And Chad, first, second, and third here in the grade one, as if you weren't dominant enough on opening weekend here on the Keeneland grass. Congratulations there. What about this filly and bringing her back off of such a long layoff? Uh, she ran second in a grade one to a horse you're very familiar with, a new money honey. You took some time with her, really developed her. Has she changed into a four-year-old this year? Yeah, she's really improved. And uh, this was a team effort, this horse, after the her, her only race here last year, she got really sick on us. And I'll tell you, we had a great team of veterinarians that worked on her, and she had just had a lung infection that turned real bad, and they, we rested her. And the owner, Peter Brandt, was very, very patient uh, just to give her all that time and uh, get her back today the right way. And my staff did a terrific job bringing off such a lengthy layoff. And it's a tribute to your staff here. Again, you finished first, second, and third here in a grade one at Keeneland. Uh, that experience is, is pretty incredible. And again, you've just done so well with the turf horses here. How do you fit these horses here at Keeneland? And, and do you bring specific horses here for Keeneland that you wouldn't to other racetracks? Yeah, you bring your best ones to Keeneland <laughs> if you want to have any luck here. And luckily, I have a lot of good horses. And uh, like I said, my staff's been working overtime. I'm here giving the interview. They're already back at the barn working. So uh, all the credit really goes to them. Well, congratulations to you and your staff and the connections of Sister Charlie, winner of the Grade 1 Coolmore Jenny Wiley.